How's it going YouTube? This is Alex coming at you for T-Vape TV in the studio with a very special video for you today, which is a clone high reference, by the way. Today we have the PAX Era and Era Pro versus 510 threaded batteries. I'm super geared up for this one because next week we are going to be doing best oil pens of 2021. And I just wanted to dive into this early. I had some thoughts on the PAX Era. I wanted to get it off my chest. I'm also going to be announcing the poster contest winner today. So just to be clear, all of the devices we talk about in this video today are compatible with just oils, not waxes, not dry herb, just oils. Without further ado, let's get right the hell into it. Oil pens across the board are convenient. Inhale to activate technology is inherent among most oil pens. Not all of them, some of them have a button, but for the most part, inhale to activate is just across the board a thing. Even if it's just one button, it's usually the five and three system, five taps are turned on, three to change temperature, sometimes it's two, it depends on the device, but they're super easy to operate. There is a little bit more to think about when buying a 510 threaded cartridge versus buying a PAX Era pod. In PAX's case, you go on, you search PAX Era pods, you pick the one that has the right balance for you, and you put it in your cart. Done. With 510 threaded batteries, you might have to mix and match a little to find your ideal setup. There's two main pieces to this oil device. There is the battery and there's the cartridge. This might take time and I'm sorry to say research, but hey, a lot of people really like the science video. So maybe just be a nerd for a quick sec and do a little bit of research before you find the product that's right for you. A lot of these batteries are going to last you a very long time if you don't lose them. So I would just say put a little bit of work in and then figure out which one exactly uh, tickles your fancy and go from there. You won't have compatibility issues with, I want to say 90% of the cartridges and batteries you buy. Genuinely, the biggest thing for me is just the sizing thing. Just make sure it fits on your battery and you're cool. If you have like a, a standard pen like this, it's not going to be, there's never going to be a situation where the cartridge is going to be too big. It's only the batteries that are like this where it sort of protects the cartridge that you're gonna have to worry about something like that. The biggest downside in terms of convenience for the PAX era, in my opinion, is how available the cartridges are. For some places, it's great, it's not a problem, there's a lot of choice. For others, there may be LPs that don't carry the PAX era pods or there could be LPs that do, but they don't have the ones you like. From the research I've done, 510 threaded cartridges seem to be more readily available from a larger number of producers. PAX Labs certainly needs to get some props for their feature that allows you to see exactly what's in your pod. If you download the app, sorry, if you're one of the Android people who is allowed to download the app, there are features on it that will show you exactly what kind of pod, it actually automatically recognizes the pod when you put it in and will tell you more information about the pod, which is pretty cool. Everyone appreciates a bit of transparency, especially after that illegal oil scare last year. Obviously, this is part of the reason they cost more, but you're paying for quality assurance. Because the sometimes great country of Canada legalized oils, when buying from a licensed source, you can be sure of the quality of your AirPods and your 510 threaded cartridges. If you live in a place where you can't get licensed carts or pods, I'd suggest steering clear entirely. Especially with everything that's going on right now, it's very important to make sure you know exactly what you're putting in to your body. Either way, make sure you get all of your carts and pods from licensed producers. This is serious business. I'm not even gonna make a joke about it. Don't do it. So what are the differences here? To me, it's like apples and oranges, or more specifically, apples and androids. Pax Labs is kind of like Apple. Clean, intuitive, and expensive. The design is clean, minimalistic, and it just works. You're paying a premium for that system that just works. The web and Android app are also a plus. Automatic temperature memory, transparency of what's in the pod, and great performance are all reasons to love the PAX Era and the PAX Era Pro. Just like Apple, you can't open up the device, pods, or mess with it in any way, but who cares? Because there's pretty colors. 510 threaded batteries are more like Android. Tinkerers, DIYers, and the mechanically minded will be more into them because there's a little bit more option for customization and versatility. They're easy to use, generally much cheaper, and there's more availability and selection from cartridges because more LPs, licensed producers, produce those cartridges. The flip side is there can be a slight learning curve to 510 threaded batteries and there's less premium features. 
This is gonna be another one of those you decide reviews. And I'm really sorry to do that to you guys, but it really is a toss up for me. I'm Canadian, so I'm anti decision making because I don't want to upset anybody. The Greek in me says go for the cheap option, the 510 threaded carts. The fancy bitch in me says go for the era because it's pretty and it just works. At the end of the day, I think it comes down to if you're willing to spend the cash. To me, you can buy a 510 threaded cartridge for like 30 or 40 Canadian dollars. So like 10 American cents or whatever it's worth. No, it's there's a price difference between the, the 510 threaded cartridges and the PAX AeroPods of about $30. So depending on how much you use them, you might not want to spend that amount of money. When you can get a battery like this for, I believe it's $30, you're gonna be less worried about losing it. You can buy cartridges that are cheaper than these pods. Look, at the end of the day, if money wasn't a factor, I'd go for the PAX era. But because I am the person I am, I would rather go for something like a Tronian battery. It's affordable, it's calibrated for better use with 510 threaded cartridges, and you'll generally be less worried about losing it. Not that I lose a lot of devices, but I also vaporize nicotine, and with smaller devices like this that I use constantly, it has a higher chance of getting lost than my Plenty, for example. Before we go, I need to announce the poster winner for this badass poster, and the winner is El Cushmo Magnifico. I don't think that's a real name, but if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I apologize. So we are going to comment on your comment with an email that you can reach out to. Thank you so much everyone for entering the contest. We are going to have a new poster up in the next video, so keep your eyes open for that. If you think I missed anything, if you'd like to see a different vaporizer review, if you just don't like the way I tell jokes, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. You know, I'm just gonna keep doing it. I'll, I'll take notes on the general aesthetic if you guys want me to change anything about the background, but if you want me to change my personality, that I cannot abide. Until next time, my name is Alex for TV TV, and for all you connoisseurs out there, keep baking.